welcome to my channel. I thought I would um, film another get ready with me talk through of a look I created a little while ago. If you follow me on Instagram you would have seen that I did a poll in, uh, last week I believe seeing if anybody wanted me to recreate a look so I thought I would film it as a talk through get ready with me and yeah so here goes. So I've already primed my face using the Smashbox water primer. Now I'm just going to go in and do my colour correction on my spots and my under eyes and wherever else I need to colour correct. So now that this has all been blended in, I'm going to go in and use um, foundation, obviously. <laughs> And I'm going to use the holy grail of foundations for me, which again is Urban, by Urban Decay, and it's the All Nighter Mattifying Foundation. This is amazing. Like the the coverage is amazing. You can also build it up if you need to. Um, sometimes I do, and yeah, I just I cannot praise this foundation enough. It is. Amazing. So now that the foundation has been blended in, I'm going to now go in with the Tarte um, Shape Tape Concealer in shade medium. I'm just going to put it under my eyes and then on my T zone and down the bridge of my nose. set my whole face with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder um, a lot of influencers say to only set the concealer um, but I personally just like to set my whole face just to battle the whole um, shine and oiliness because I do have oily skin so I find just doing this way helps to keep it more matte and more longer so I've already primed my eyes using the uh, Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer so now I'm going to use the Too Faced Sweet Peach um, eyeshadow palette to create the look. So I am kind of a little bit old school. Um, I do always put on a base colour just purely because that's how I prefer to work and I just find that slightly easier. So I'm just going to go in with the peaches and cream colour at the bottom here just to do an all over base colour. So now using the same palette, I'm going to be using um, Puree and Summer Yum, these two colours here. So with the colour Summer Yum, the darker one, I'm um, just going to be putting that in just above the crease line. Now, to create the darker colour I did on this look for the lids, I'm going to be using the NYX Glitter Primer, which is amazing. However, it's more probably like a glue than it is a glitter, I f um, than a primer, sorry, I find. If you follow me on Instagram or if you've watched a few of my videos, then you'll know I work with glitter a lot. And this is amazing because it stops fallout like a lot of fallout um so yeah it is really good so now i'm just gonna go and put some of the glitter primer on my lids i'm just gonna use the color delectable and put this one on top of the primer on my lid and with the primer being there and putting the eyeshadow on top it will make it a lot darker to remember which I tend to always forget um, is when you're using this primer make sure that when you're putting eyeshadows or glitter or anything on it around the edges that you um, neaten up the edges as soon as possible because once it has dry dried 
it is impossible to mis redo any mistakes. And if you followed me on Instagram and you've seen this look, then you would have seen it is um, on my Instagram post. It is slightly messy on the edges because I did forget to neaten the edges up. I have neaten them up as possible, as much as possible now. But it is really hard to work with eyeshadow on the primer. Um, but you know, it is what it is. So now that we've got all the um, eyeshadow on our lids, we are now going to use the NYX um, body glitter. I'm going to use um, well the blue one. It doesn't have a num a name. It's got a number eleven, maybe. I'm not really sure, but. It's just the blue one. Now with adding the glitter on, you don't have to be precise or anything like that. You can just put it on as much as you want or as little as you want. Um, I just make sure that it's covered most of where the eyeshadow is, just so that when you move in the light and um, however, whenever you go out, you've got the um, movement sparkles. So now we're just going to fill it off um, around the top of the eyes and then under the eyes we're going to go back in with the colour Summer Yum. Go in with this um, eyeshadow brush again and just put on a bit more of Delectable under the eyes just to give it that faux smoky dark look. in um, a little bit of talk derby to me underneath the eyes just to add that extra um, dark smoky vibe and then we're just going to smoke that out around the eyes now again to add more darkness to the eyes I'm going to use the um, Sephora um, waterproof eyeliner in um, I'm not sure what colour this is, it doesn't actually say, but in the blue colour. Now I'm just going to use a tiny, tiny amount from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette um, of the colour Black Truffle. Again, just going to put that in a little bit in the corners and under the eyes just to add an extra smoky effect. Now I'm going to use the um, Bourjois Volume Reveal Mascara um, just to obviously put it on our lashes and to finish off the look. our look finished off with so now we're just going to go in and do our contour i'm going to use my trusty old Too faced coco contour palette and i'm going to be using these two colors here I used the Laura Geller um, pink champagne highlighter however I have since broken it so um, for this recreation look I will be using the my new like favorite favorite um, highlighter um, it's going to be the Huda Beauty winter highlighter palette and I'm just going to be using the best shade ever which is Arctic Glow I believe yes um, so I'm just going to be putting this onto the inner corners of my eyes, the bridge of my nose, top of the lips, you know the drill. I'm now going to um, finish it off with the Urban Decay Back Talk Lipstick. This shade here.
unfinished look. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have give it a good thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, let me know in the comments section below what other videos you'd like to see and I'll see you in my next one.